Divine Feminine, Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day one subscribers, all of my new subscribers. And if you are checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. So this is a new series that I started and it's called Your Paradigm Shift. And this is just patterns that you need to drop or um, new habits that you need to bring into your life to change your certain ways of being and doing along with guidance from spirit. So cards have already been shuffled and drawn. I am going to jump right in. To my left is um, the experience, the situation, the cycle and the past that was a catalyst to your paradigm shift. In my center is your paradigm shift, so patterns that you are releasing right now. And to my right is advice from spirit and guidance on how to make your transition into your paradigm shift a lot more easier, a lot more smoother. Okay, so with that being said, let us jump in. So we have here Cancer, man holding a coin in reverse, six of coins, mother in reverse page of cups and desire okay ah my cancer divine masculine and divine feminine i am picking this up for both of you <sighs> i i think i i got this reading for you guys before where you guys just you you give you give too much and you need to stop letting people use you because in the past we have my cancers this goes for you divine masculine and divine feminine alike you had this thing where in the past you you were loyal to people that would just use the shit out of you like Loyal, over loyal, you know, like you wanted to prove to these people or this person that you got their back and you support them and that you'll be there for them. You know, it's, it was like, I keep hearing pick me. It was like this mentality of, or this behavior of, I, I can, I can help you solve your problems. I'll do anything for you. Pick me, you know, I'm the right person for you. Pick me. And Spirit's saying, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. And Spirit's also saying, you don't need to beg anybody for their affection, Cancer. You don't need to beg anybody for love. That's not how it goes. Because in the past, you were dealing with someone. So Divine Feminine, you were dealing with a masculine. And Divine um, Masculine, you were dealing with a feminine who was not giving to you. They had no intentions of giving to you. They were using the fuck out of you for whatever they could get their grubby little hands on, right? This person, they did not care about you. Mm -mm. They didn't care if you were okay. They didn't care about supporting you. They didn't care about your well-being. They cared about their own. This person was very selfish. This person was would use you for their own benefit, and they didn't give two shits about it. Nope. This also... You were not prioritizing your own well-being when you were with this person or with these people. I'm picking up strongly that this is a relationship dynamic because you would give out of your own need, right? And cause yourself to be in lack or be in scarcity trying to prove to this person that you got their back. But the thing is, these people, this masculine and this feminine, they didn't give a, they, when it came to you, they didn't have a fuck to give. It was just me, me, me. What can you do for me? Mm-hmm. How can you help me? How can you support me? Because we have here six of coins, right? So you were like over generous, mm -hmm. over kind, right? Sharing of everything that you had, right? Doing a lot of uh, monetary favors, lending out a lot of money to people. Why? For what? Mm-hmm. Right? All because you wanted to prove that you were loyal mm -hmm, and that you were a good friend or you were a good partner, right? Right. And you had a strong desire, like you cared about this person. 
Yes, you did. You desired to be with them. You had an overwhelming desire to prove to this person that you had their back. This person didn't give two shits about if you saw that they had your back or not. Um, if they had your, yeah, if they had your back or not. No, these people were not caring. They were not giving. No, they didn't protect you or your feelings. They didn't care how they made you feel. No, these people were actually very dismissive, very critical of you. Yeah, if you did not do what this person said or wanted you to do, they would did they would um dismiss you. Like, okay, well, you can't do that. Okay, well, I'll call you later. Oh, you can't lend me money. Okay, I'll call you later. And they wouldn't call you again until they wanted something else, right? Or they needed another favor. They needed to borrow some money. No, 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 no. Divine masculine, divine feminine. You're not anyone's personal bank machine. Everybody has to work for their shit around here. There's no, there's no free lunches. You have to pay for them. But you are going around giving free lunches to everybody, right? Just to prove that you're a good person. The right, per, the right person would see that. You don't, the right person you wouldn't even need to do that much for. No way. But that's what you were doing in the past. Mm -hmm. And these people took full advantage. Full advantage. I am seeing, I am seeing a divine feminine and a divine masculine giving a masculine energy and a feminine energy their credit card, right? And you don't even know where the fuck you're going to get the money from to pay the bill, right? But you're giving it to them because you want to show them that I'll help you. I will bend over backwards to support you. I just, I, I want you to know that I got your back. And this person would just go and do fuckery with it. Bullshit. Yeah. They would go and do bullshit because they didn't care about your well-being. They cared about what you could do for them, what they could get from you. Mm -hmm. They fully took advantage of your kindness. They know that you're kind. They know that you're giving. Yes. And they knew that you cared about them and they fully exploited that. Mm -hmm. Fully exploited that. So because we have here... Your paradigm shift, we have walking away, sorry, walking away in reverse. We have the moon in reverse. We have nine of fire. We have five of wands in reverse. And we have king of air in reverse. So... Your paradigm shift, Cancers, my divine masculine and my divine feminine. Divine masculine, you're showing up strongly in this one. Your, your paradigm shift is being confident in your ability to stand your ground, stand up for yourself. Divine feminine, I'm picking up your energy in this now too, of standing firm and fighting for yourself, fighting for your own well-being. Mm-hmm. Saying no, I can't remember wh whose reading I did, but maybe it was yours. No is a whole and complete sentence in itself, my loves, right? Say it with me. No. Can I borrow some? No. Can you do this for me? No. Doesn't it feel good? <laughs> no, I can't do it. Or no, I don't want to do that. No. Say it with me, Cancers. No. Okay, <laughs> keep saying it until it just becomes second nature for you to just tell somebody no. Mm -hmm. Because this is your paradigm shift right now where you are really standing your ground, standing up for yourself, standing up for yourself against people who use you, abuse you, and refuse you. Mm -hmm. People who trick you, lie to you, deceive you. People that cause problems with you because they want to get something from you, right? They want to manipulate, emotionally manipulate you, make you feel guilty, and then just suck whatever the fuck they can suck from you. Yeah, that's what these people do. And you're learning to get out of this pattern, right? Of staying. You had this habit of staying with people like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Staying with people who do not give two fucks about you. People that would take advantage of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People that would deceive you. Just, it was like a habit. Mm -hmm. It's like you had a habit of being taken advantage of, of people treating you like shit, right? Of just letting it go, 
and being okay and having these type of people around you. No, 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 no. But your, your paradigm shift is you're coming out of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're not okay with this shit anymore. You're changing your mind. Yeah. You're in a, a space. You're in an energy of you're learning how to detach, release, um, stay away from people like that, healing what needs to be healed inside. So you're not even attracted to people like that. Selfish people, people who undermine you, people who uh, uh, use you. You're, you're not going to be attracted to people like that. You're not going to feel sorry for people like that. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a divine masculine who someone's coming with some fucking bullshit sob story. And you're like, oh, okay, well, and you're eating a bag of chips while you're doing it. Like, okay, well, good luck with that. <laughs> right? Go figure your shit out. Because I can't help you. I need to help myself. Yep. You're coming out of... Um, this space or this pattern of having this rigid way of believing that, you know, if you're with someone, you got to show them that you're, you're, you're die hard, you're ride or die, right? You'll die for them. Mm -hmm. You will get shot for them. You'll take a bullet for them. You're getting out of that belief system with people. No. And I'm really feeling divine masculine, divine feminine. You're learning to put yourself first. Yeah. You're learning to prioritize your own needs first. Sorry, I can't help you. I have to pay my own rent right now. I can't help you with your car payment. I have to pay my own. And I have enough for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're also starting to, um, you're starting to see things from a different perspective. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like you're starting to see things from... Um, I'm, I'm hearing multiple perspectives, right? Not just your die hard, ride or die way of looking at things, right? Because I'm feeling the energy of a divine feminine and a divine masculine that's like, well, you know, even if I do have it to give you, I'm not going to give it to you right now because I need it for something else later on in the future, right? Or I just don't feel like helping you right now. And once upon a time in the past, you would have never did that. You would have been like, oh, we're together. Oh, you're my friend. Oh, you're my family member. Okay, here, take it. You know, yeah, insurance is going to double my payment next month because I missed my car payment because I gave it, to, I lent it to you. But that's okay. I'll deal with it. Yeah, you ran up my credit card, but I'll find, I'll get a second job to pay it off. No, you're not doing fucking shit like that anymore. No. You're starting to look at things like, no, I need to make sure that I'm good. Mm-hmm. Because I can't do anything for anybody if I can't do anything for myself. Yes, cancers. Yes. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to feel. Mm -hmm. So you're shifting from this staying with people who don't give a fuck about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because your guidance from spirit we have to make this transition smoother for yourself. We have second chakra archangel Ariel. We have ten of wands. We have nine of earth. We have seven of swords in reverse. And we have ten of fire. Divine masculine and divine feminine. Spirit is saying, get to know yourself intimately. Mm -hmm. Intimately. Make yourself a motherfucking priority. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even get creative. Yes. Some of you need to learn how to, not even, you are going to be learning. <laughs> you are going to be getting real creative in your ways of telling people no. <laughs> I'm saying no. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. Right? Because you know what I love about you guys? You guys are going to be saying no, but you're going to be saying it in a healing way. It's not a, it's not a way to hurt people or make people feel like shit. It's a way that's making people understand that you need to put yourself first, right? And it's not put yourself first sometimes. You're going to be letting people um, understand that you need to put yourself first in a way that they really get it, you know? Because I'm seeing a divine masculine talking to someone and, and they're kind of like nodding their head like, okay, I get that. Okay, I, I understand why you can't pay my car payment for me this month or anymore. Yeah, because it, it's my car. <laughs> right?
<laughs> yes, sir. Spirit wants to know yourself intimately so that you can attract relationships with people who know you, right? And value you. People that don't use you, abuse you and refuse you. Mm -hmm. People that are giving to you because you're moving into a space of not giving to people who lie to you, who backstab you, who betray you, who use you. Mm -hmm. People who put their burdens on you. Yeah. Spirits like you need to master yourself so that you know when to give and when not to give. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be doing that. Cancers, yes, you are divine masculine and divine feminine. This is for both of you. You are going to be mastering yourself to a point where you know how to, <laughs> it's like dismiss people in a healing way. <laughs> I love it. I love it, right? You ever get cussed off by someone so nicely, you never realize that you got cussed off? <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're going to be learning how to do that. And that is how spirit is telling you to do it, right? Because you're going to be throwing that no around quite often, right? So spirit wants you to do it in a way that's loving and healing, right? It doesn't have to be, go fuck yourself. Fuck off. I fucking said no. <laughs> it, <doesn't, laughs> it does not have to be like that. It just can be like, you know, hon, I would really love to help you right now. But I have a few bills that I need to take care of and I need to clear up. So once I get that stuff dealt with, then, you know, we can look at your issue and I can see if I can help you or not. Right? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Because cancer is you guys. You guys attracted people that just were pieces of shit. They were like royal, high-level pieces of shit, right? Yeah. They were high up there on the shit scale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People that would talk about you. People that would fucking, they are caused arguments and problems. People that were dummies, that they th but they thought they were smart. Mm -hmm. People that did not listen to good advice. So they would come and drain your energy tell you all their problems, dump all of their emotional baggage on you. And when you try to offer them a little bit of advice, a little bit of good advice, they wouldn't fucking take it, right? So they keep coming back to you with the same problem, emotionally draining you, emotionally, like you're an emotional dumpster, dumping their problems on you all the time. Some of you are going to be kindly, nicely telling someone to stop calling you, mm -hmm. calling you with the same shit because you already explained it to them, right? You already gave the put your two cents and two cents in on their situation and your perspective and you do not have time to sit here listening to this anymore but you're gonna say it in a nice way mm -hmm. you're gonna say stop fucking calling me with your problems in a nice way cancers my divine masculine and my divine feminines i loves it mm -hmm. yes you mastering yourself is going to teach you how to move into this space of giving to yourself first and foremost, and making you a priority. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to stop giving to people that cause problems, that bring problems into your life. And you know what? These people, they would talk behind your back. They would slander you, talk shit about you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just horrible people in your life, right? You getting to know yourself on an intimate level will allow you to Know what you accept and what you don't mm -hmm. because you're going to be mastering yourself. Self-mastery is going to help you with this shift, knowing, knowing you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Cancers, this is what I have for you. I think this is a very powerful reading. <laughs> If you are looking for a personal reading, there is a link at the beginning of my description box that will take you to my Etsy shop where you can book a personal reading with me. If you scroll down to the bottom, there is a link that takes you to my online store where you can look around, browse around, whatever you feel so inclined or compelled to purchase. I offer transformational products and services. Some of these programs, they were channeled from 5D by Sophia Charles. Some of them, I have a, a meditation program that was channeled from 12D, 12D by Joey Ortiz. So these programs, they're very life-changing, very transformational. I'm all about helping others to help themselves because someone helped me to help myself and change my life. So I'm all about, I'm very big on paying it forward.
So I encourage you to look around and whatever you feel compelled to purchase, my prices are very reasonable. Okay, so with that being said, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Cancers, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. I just want to say this one more time for you guys. Say it with me loud and clear. Loud and clear. Say it loud for the people in the back. No. <laughs> Bye.